Today, we have been bringing together educators, university professors, college professors, and parks professionals to think about ways in which we can collaborate to turn public history into public art. This workshop is uh, a two-part series of uh, an active collaboration between California State Parks and um, local, both community colleges and uh, Fac State, um, where we're basically trying to bridge the gap between um, education spheres. We're hoping that we can get students engaged with parks um, beyond what they already are doing and um, perpetuating a, a um, continuous relationship between the two. This is phase one of our workshops. Uh, we met today, we um, got, got to know each other, you know, put people in the room who hadn't been in a room together before. The funding comes from California State Parks broadly to think about how across 281 state parks we begin to incorporate more artistic production into parks and that's defined in a variety of ways. But our project specifically looks at that intersection of, of history and then how history can be expressed through art. I actually have wanted to be an artist since I could draw, I mean, since I was like four and five. Um, and I thought that's what I was going to be as I was a kid growing up. And it was art that led me into the world of natural history and cultural history. Um, and so it is art that inspired me to the career that I actually have had in my life. And I know how important this is uh, because it is a way to really capture imaginations, emotion, and connection. It's inspiring the public to bring themselves to these places. The work you are doing is work that we cannot do without. That's what you're doing. Thank you. Uh, the majority of our parks are right here in the city of Sacramento um, and also West Sacramento. So they're urban parks, um, not exactly what people think of when they think of public parks. They're thinking of um, sort of vast acres of uh, wilderness and camping, um, but all of our um, park units are uh, museums and historic sites here. We'll be visiting over the course of these two workshops all six active park units. Um, so today, of course, we're here in Old Sacramento, as you can see out of these beautiful tall windows. Um, we'll also be touring the California State Railroad Museum. Ty will be leading that tour. Our lives are made of railroad stories. I tell people that and they go, eh, what do you mean? What are you talking about? I go, no, it's true. I mean, think about it. We, we talk in language metaphor. Right, we're always getting off track or derailed or trying to gather up a full head of steam. Maybe we accomplish a task, we go and blow off steam. You know, like we, we talk railroad full steam ahead. We talk railroad language whether we are conscious of it or not. So today um, we started at the Leland Stanford Mansion, um, which was fascinating. So a place where uh, a lot of current legislative events are held and um, that was just really interesting. I'd never been in there before. Um, and then we went to the Capitol, and actually I had never really been to the Capitol, I'm embarrassed to admit, so that was delightful to see and, uh, you know, lots to think about there. And then we came to the State Indian Museum and then Sutter's Fort. With these workshops, we wanted to not only um, help you all get a sense of the resources in our parks and get to know us, but also be inspired in uh, your own project generation and, and have a jumping off point um, for uh, sort of the next steps going forward. Um, and so we're so happy to have here today um, Kate Bickert, who's the uh, Senior Director of Strategic Innovation for the Na uh, Golden Gate National Parks Conservancy. Um, and Kate has worked at the intersection of parks, art, and inclusive public engagement for over two decades. Um, and she's gonna show you so many amazing projects. Thanks so much for having me. Um, this is like exactly the group of people that I love hanging around with, <laughs> people who are interested in this. I'm just gonna take you through some of these that represent, you know, all different kinds of art projects. So every type of sort of art form from performative art to visual art, sculpture, uh, public art, um, and also like different scales and different costs. And so I organize them into sort of categories that in some ways, you know, they're not clean. These things overlap, but, but we'll sort of talk about projects where what I think of as like artists or art as as problem solver for us in the park. Um, the other, is, the next one is like projects that address an important, timely, rele relevant, contemporary issue, and kind of help the public think about and engage in that issue. 
uh, weird and wonderful delights, I called them, which are just kind of giving people a new way of experiencing the place, of connecting to the place, the park, the nature, et cetera. And then projects that can really transform in the public imagination like stereotypical ideas about a place and tap into deeper meaning that can be illuminated by those places. So that's my loose categorization. I hope that we, you know, we're laying the groundwork for a good working relationship and uh, at, at this point and in five years time I hope to see the, uh, the that students feel welcomed uh, and, and involved uh, beyond just their role as students um, at local institutions that they feel like they have a sense of ownership and um, participation with their the parks in their general area. I think at the sort of um, smaller level it's things like field trips or if you want a guest lecture from a park staff member. At the end of the day it's about building a relationship mm -hmm. where this becomes part of business as usual from the park side and from the education side. Well for me I you know I'm an artist, so I want art to be everywhere. I think the role of the artist in society is to, um, I mean, there, there are multiple roles, but one of them that I feel really strongly about is the capacity that artists have to help us uh, kind of be awake in our lives and um, think about and bring intentionality to both our individual and collective decisions. And so um, in any context, really, if you can bring an artist in, an artist has the capacity to start dialogues um, or further dialogues uh, that are already happening.